Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. The Prime Minister declared August 23rd to be National Space Day while at the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi stopped by the National Space Agency's headquarters on Saturday after his tour to South Africa and Greece to thank the scientists in charge of the lunar mission that touched down on the moon this week. The third lunar mission from India, Chandrayaan 3, was a success thanks in large part to the team of scientists from the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, which received accolades from the Prime Minister. During his visit to Bengaluru, the capital of the state of Karnataka, which is known as the Silicon Valley of India for its IT industry, Modi declared, I could not contain my excitement, even during my overseas visit, and thus I resolved to come to Bengaluru first and foremost to meet our exceptional scientists upon my return to India. The moon is where we take great pride in our country. We have reached a place where no one has reached before. Added Modi. On August 23, the Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 successfully completed a soft landing, becoming India the first nation to do so with a spacecraft close to the moon's south pole. Somanath, chairman of ISRO, gave Modi a briefing on the 40-day voyage of the mission and the work of the scientists who were responsible for it. The Prajan rover of the spacecraft successfully travelled around 8 metres on the lunar surface on Friday. The space agency made available two movies, one of which shows the rover disengaging from the lander and descending to the lunar surface. The second image depicts the lander module's ramp being deployed before the rover is rolled out and its solar panel is deployed. Modi claimed in his speech that everyone in the world is witnessing and accepting the strength of India's scientific spirit, our technology, and our scientific temperament. In a statement praising the ISRO researchers, Modi claimed that they built an artificial moon there to test the soft landing. The lander passed several tests before going, to the moon, so it was bound to succeed. In recognition of the successful moon landing, the Prime Minister used the occasion to declare August 23rd to be National Space Day. Additionally, he said that the location of the Chandrayaan-3 lander's first contact will be known as Shivshakti which represents the unification of cosmic forces. Modi announced intentions to rename the location where the Chandrayaan-2 mission's lander left its mark on the lunar surface as Turanga Point, representing the Indian tricolor flag, as an homage to the mission's failure to land there in 2019. This will serve as motivation for all of India's efforts. It will serve as a reminder that no failure is ever fatal. Success is inevitable if there is a strong determination to do it, he remarked. On July 14, Chandrayaan-3 blasted out from a launch pad in Sriharikota, southern India. NASA has found evidence of water ice in the moon's south pole, where the mission will conduct research for two weeks, one lunar day. On the moon's surface, the Prajan rover will conduct a number of tests. It will then transmit the results to the Vikram lander which will transmit them to Earth. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.